and welcome back to Inspired Decor Creative. I'm Lynette, I'm the events designer of Inspired Decor Events and today I'm going to continue bringing the theme that we've been doing for this month of February of Valentine's. Alright, so this theme for the centerpiece today is blue romance. Alright, so I've already prepared the blue, dressed ready to match my centerpiece. All right, so today's one is a bit more, a little bit more abstract, it's a bit more um, unstructured, something that I, you can kind of create on the spot. All right, so I have my table linen ready and prepared, nice and white one, and um, to really offset um, and really showcase the, 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 the colors I'm using today. So I'm starting off with the base of the centerpiece, which is an argon um, slate plate, um that you can use all right it's a nice round one good size about 30 inches and then i'm going to use um, a nice tall um square vase as the main centerpiece um, and what i'm going to do is put um the, this already prepared wide light so what i've done um i've wrapped around um a fairy light around this copper wire, wire this is very bendable, very flexible. Um, so I've just bent it around and I'm just gonna turn on the light, all right, because I need to put the, the battery base in the vase. All right, so you can see the light's already turned, nice and turned on. Okay, and I'm gonna put um, the battery on the bottom of the vase. I've already got blue tack prepared on it, so it will stick nice and tightly at the base. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create um, the structure of um, the wire around or um, shaping the, the, the bars basically inside. So I'm just gonna take my time and shape it however I want it to really. Um, what's great about this is that each one, each vase, if you do it for various different tables, um, will look different. Um, because the whole point is that you kind of create it on the spot. Um, as I said, I'm going according to the shape of the, the vase. So I can kind of obviously give the effect that I want. I don't want to just fold it in and do whatever. But I actually want to go around the shape of it. All right, so just play around with it. It doesn't matter how it kind of turns turns out. The whole point is that it's meant to be unique and abstract and just different. Okay, so that's roughly, I want it to kind of go around. So if it's not kind of hitting certain corners, then obviously you shape it as much as possible. All right, and then stretch it and play around with it. That's the whole point of it. All right. But the whole point, as you can see, is giving the effect that I want. A um, little abstract, very creative. Um, and obviously the lights, as you know, lights, lights, um, gives a good, good um, look for, for a centerpiece. Then I'm going to use the colour theme of blue stones as my base. All right, I'm just going to pour it in. All right. Covering the light as high as I want it, not quite a bit at the bottom. And then play around with it where I make sure it's even everywhere. Throw in some more, not too much. And then play around with it once again. And then as, you, as I said, you always kind of play around with the wire to see if it's keeping in shape roughly. And then I'm going to pour some gold stones just to give a nice contrast to it. And um, to really also make the the blue stand out you know sometimes you need another color just to to make the the other cut the main color pop and that's what i want it to do i'm not going to put too much um and then as i said as you can see i'm putting my hand just to even it out yeah as much as i want and then pour in the blue again just as a top base and i pour in the rest of it and do that there we go all finished in there okay and then once again as i said um i use my hands to to even it out because you can see a nice gold um color for the base and rim come comes into effect then 
I'm going to use a small blue rose, all right, already prepared, and I'm just going to pop it inside, inside in the middle of the base, all right. So as you can see, it's already given a really nice look um, and, and very matchy, but also very contrast and, and abstract. And then what I want to do now is I want to um, be a bit more creative um, and do something different. So once again, um, I've already prepared three cutout wires um, and I'm going to shape it around the vase. All right. So I'm just going to curve a little bit at the top so it hooks the, to the top of it so um it stays trying to say it stay in place but what's great about this it bends so you can kind of um shape it how you want and make sure it kind of stays in place but also what you can do is um as you can see the, the wires already kind of bent and contoured ready so what i'm going to do um so you can just bend it and so forth unless you want it more straight um but i've bent it so obviously it gives a nice um, look so and then it should hang on its own and then get another piece and what I'm going to do I'm going to hook um, another piece onto the, the the wire I just put here so obviously it all stays in place and obviously you bend it accordingly so that it all stays together and then hold it and then obviously hold the vase so it doesn't go anywhere yeah and then fold it around base all right and curve it around and then any parts that need to be played around or say it all stays together that's what you do so i'm just making sure the hook part stays there we go and then do the last part which is once again i've already done a little hook and i'm going to continue from where i left off from the other wire the previous wire and i'm going to bend it around right it doesn't matter if it, if it comes off the whole point is to play around with it all right um and that's as i said that's the, the fun part about it right is that you then be creative on the spot and as i mentioned before if you're trying to do various different um tables with this type of look it's all going to look very different but the same in a sense because the whole point is um, you're creating it on the spot um, and that's the nice fun, fun element. So there you go. So it's already given a, a very different feel to it. Now, to give it a little bit more glitz and a little glam, a little elegance to it, um, I've got some nice um, Diamante confetti, um, which is a really good size. They come in various different sizes. Um, this one's quite big. I don't know what size this is. Um, but you'll see it's going to be a different size to the, the contrast colour I'm going to put with it. So I'm just going to scatter it on the slate around. Where I try and make it as even as possible but not too um, structured because obviously you just want it to, to look um, effective and not too um, just structured. And that's why I use the word. All right. And then I'm going to use um, gold ones. Gold diamante confetti and they're much smaller so as i put them onto the the slate you'll see the difference in the size um i want the blue to more pop um and the gold just to to be a, a nice complemented um color with it so i don't want it to take over and then just to to, to finish it off um i'm going to use some more roses so keeping it within the blue theme I'm going, I've already prepared uh, the stem being bent and I'm going to place it on the side top um, but also what I'm going to do because I've bent the, the end I'm going to hook it um, to the wire at the end all right the, the, or the outside shall I say of the vase so it should all kind of fit and flow so hopefully and obviously play around with it so it all kind of stays in place all right remember things are going to come apart you just fix it back together all right all right and then just to give the last effect another blue rose and i'm just going to place it on the the side front of the slate and there you go there's my blue romance all right a little different a little bit more abstract um but the color is really the centerpiece 
and using the lights and using the blue roses really gives a, a lovely blue romance and that's why it's themed that um so nice and easy very simple to put together and um, you can have it for a dinner party you can have it for a wedding it can go with any type of theme or event that you want to do so i'm lynette this is inspired decor creative um please come and visit me and see me and like me um on my instagram and my facebook facebook <laughs> at inspired decor events um i'm available for for bookings um for christenings birthdays baby showers whatever it may be weddings parties um i'm a great events designer as you can see um so yeah no come and use me um i'm here to make your dreams come true so until next time take care